Ladies and gentlemen, when 9-11 took place, I was in Islamabad. I got a call from a television jour journalist from London. And he asked me a question. He said, Imran Khan, aren't you ashamed of the terrorist attack in New York? I'm sitting in Pakistan. Attack takes place in New York. There's no Pakistani involved. And this man is asking me to be ashamed of something because I'm part of 1.3 billion people. Political struggle was being given a religious name. How could an event like 9-11 take place? And there was never any inquiry into the root causes. Why did those people blow themselves up? If anyone tried to ask the question, they were accused of appeasing terrorism. They were accused of justifying terrorism. George Bush went on television and told the world that this is radical Islam. They want to take over the world. They hate our way of life. They hate our freedom. They hate our democracy. They are like Nazism. This is a new philosophy like communism. The stakeholders who had an interest in the oil in Iran. The new conservatives, all of them then projected this mad philosophy of radical Islam. First Afghanistan was attacked three weeks after the war. War was made the first option, not the last resort. Some 50,000 people were killed when not one Afghani was involved in 9-11. Soon Iraq followed. After lies and deception, saying that Saddam was connected with al Qaeda, putting the fear of God in their own population so that they would not question them. Other stakeholders jumped in. Islamic terrorists. In Chechnya, Vladimir Putin was fight, fighting against Islamic terrorists. In Kashmir, again there were Islamic terrorists who were fighting the Indian troops. Putin to say that before 9-11, 70% of all suicide bombers were Tamil Tigers who were Hindus. freedom struggle, the Tamils would call it. No one blamed Hinduism for it. When the Japanese kamikaze pilots in desperation were blowing themselves up in the planes, no one blamed Shintoism for suicide bombings. But suddenly, Islam was responsible for suicide bombings. Careful, planning, spin doctrine brought political struggles a religious name we had certain members of the islamic clergy immediately jumping on the bandwagon that extreme 
terrorism is not allowed in Islam. We all know terrorism is not allowed in Islam. Every Muslim knows what the Prophet of Islam وسلم, said. Long before the Geneva Convention came in, the Muslim sisters were told not to harm anyone, non-combatants, women, children, or elderly, not to destroy gardens, crops, not to treat prisoners of war. Not the way George Bush treats prisoners of war.